In this video, we will discuss how to add a conditional logic or a conditional field in contact form 7. Uh, here is a demo example. So let's see if I am selecting yes. So this field appears. If I am selecting no, another field appears. So these are what you call a conditional logic. So let me show you how to do that. First of all, you need to make sure contact form 7 and ultimate add-on store contact form 7. Both of these plugins are enabled. A link of a video should pop up by now to install to know how to install this. Now go to all add-ons and enable conditional field. Now let's go to our form. We name this conditional. Now um, let me show you how to use our conditional field. So let's say you want this field to be conditional. So we wrap this with a conditional wrapper. So we wrap this one and we wrap this within a conditional field. Similarly, let's say we want to add another field and we wrap this with a so it's a drop down menu, for example. And we name this yes and no. And the email field, let's wrap that one as well. So we have three different conditions here. Now we hit save. Now let's scroll down. And here you can see we have the conditional logic option. So that's we have, remember we have three different logics. So let's set uh, one by one, first of all. So as you can see, we have three conditional name here, which are not identifiable. So what you can do, you can name this, let's say your differentiate, let me name this first name, I just want, don't want to mix this one with this tag. So we name this conditional email and conditional drop down, for example, just to identify. Now if we scroll down and here you should see this. So let's say the name, it will show if any, right? So let's set the condition. So we add another field here. Let's add this as a placeholder. So we name uh, placeholder first name, for example. So in, in this, let's say last name. So here, if we come here, so the select field is last name. So last name will show if, so here we have two conditions. So either you can show or hide. So let me show and if and any. So if and any means if all these conditions are met, let's say we had two conditions here, then you, if you select any, then if any of the condition matches, uh, the field will show. If you select all, then all these condition needs to match. So let's say I select any and the condition here, let's add one first. So the select field takes 739, which is the first name. You can also rename this if you want to, is equals to John. So here, if the first name is John, then basically that last name field will appear. And let's say we add again is uh, James. So if the name fields are John and James, that's when that field appears. So let me show this condition first before you proceed to another. 
So let's publish this one to a page. View the page. So here you can see only the first name is showing, the, not the last name. So if I write John, you can see this field appears. But if I write Robert, then no field appears. Similarly, we name James. So as you can see, this is not working. Now let's do the same for the email field. So we can copy this and we name select the email and it will show and um, so it will hide let's say so this email field will hide if um let's say we keep this same so let's say the text field is john so here we have equal not equal greater than less than so as you can see it's it's massive like you can set any kind of condition with all these options so we save now let's so if we now write james we have this field but if we write john the email field should hide so as you can see the name field appear but the email field got hidden so basically we don't want john to publish the phone because without email he cannot publish anyway so yep so now let's set another condition so remember we have the drop down field so the drop down field will show uh, let's say we set this based on this email field so condition within a condition so the drop down field will show if the email field is equals to john at gmail dot com. No, sorry, John. If I John should not be able to submit, right? So it should be James. So James. No, as you can see, so if I write John, so the email field is not there. So it should be James. So James has a last name. Now, if I write James at gmail.com as you can see now the drop down appeared but if i write any other email the drop down gets hidden so that's how the condition all these conditional field works so it will work any of these field the system is more or less same you just need to make sure uh, you are selecting all this visibility and if any conditions properly and you need to make sure uh, this conditional field and these conditions are properly added. For example, if you want any numerical field, it's best to select greater than or less than or something like that. Uh, so let me show you, you know what, let me show you with a numerical field. So let's say we add a number. insert this so now we have a number field so we set this condition so the conditional drop down will show if the number field is greater than 100 so if we reload so if I write 100 Nothing is showing. If I write 101, the drop-down field is showing. So, yep. So, that, now you can see how these conditions are working. Um, so, that's it. Uh, please check our conditional field pro of version as well. If you want to set conditional field for our ultimate add-ons fields, for example, the star rating range slider, all these conditional field works with our conditional field pro version. Uh, let us know in the comments if you have any questions.